Night stalk. Bottom lane. Already getting sent back to base. Oh. Am is very Running. good against this. He's got a charge here and he's gonna go, but FNG's just there in time with his shackle. Illidan's turning up and maybe they can turn this one. The split off's gonna connect. One more right, they will seal the deal, and first blood's gonna go to VP there on the top lane. Jeez, oh, not even looking at the this. tower. Like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. He just wants the wards not to tank the damage, so like you get the most damage output from it, but he's already forced back. Oh, forward. they caught Dendi here, and not gonna be able to follow through. Also, popping the Echo Slam. Very prematurely, but it's gonna be enough to get G back off the tower. But look at this, Illidan's just coming in with the Edict. The damage that's being done to the racks. Now Funic going for Will you bash onto Fogg? But Dendi blown up. Funic is gonna be kept alive here by the Embrace for the time being. They have our Shaman and Vos to get up to the fog, trying to do as best he can with the Monster style, but it's a double kill for Illidan. Three heroes down on the side of Na'Vi, they're losing the racks in the mid lane as well, the Blast will finish off Phobos there on the Night Stalker, but triple kill for Illidan, buybacks coming out from Dendi and Seneco, but they've already lost half the racks here in the mid lane, and VP, that's it, it's a pretty good siege for them 22 minutes into the game. That actually could have gone a lot worse for Na'Vi, everything considering. When Havos blinked in aggressively, I thought he might even die. Well, what are Na'Vi going to be able to do to stop this? BKB's going to be popped straight away, and wow, with the Earth spit off onto Artstyle, he's getting low, but Seneca's going to be there keeping him alive. It's not enough. The physical damage going through at the end of it all, and Dilliton's going to be on a dominating kill streak. The fight's kicking off. Phoenix Charge trade in. Her voice trying to do what he can with the BKB. Will be able to take down FNG. The Dream Call from Dendi just holding them back, but it doesn't really matter because VP, they want to continue to fight, and her voice just has to blink away, and G will just turn his attention back to the racks, and it just doesn't seem like de uh, the side of Na'Vi can stop this. Fortification's coming out, but this looks like it maybe the second set of rats going down they also just catch out dendy there in the mid lane with the telekinesis a voice will be able to bring down the less rat but he's got aegis he's going to be coming back for round two crippling fair onto a voice zaneko trying to do his best to save him but it's not going to be enough they're going to lose a voice buybacks coming out from both dendy and a voice they've got to do something here zaneko's being blown up by g getting like one more cross brace will do it and there we go double kill for chill g on the bristle back a voice he manta starts with the crippling God. fear g's just finding a triple kill it's only dendy and a voice left alive here. Denny's going forward very aggressively, but they've got to be careful because G, he's coming in behind them. It looks like, is he going to be able to stick around while well, the voice maybe even thinking about going for it? Funix now back on the pitch. He's got the charge onto G. But do they really want to try and fight this Bristleback? He's got the backup of this Lesh in the Night Stalker. They're going to go for it here now. V, the Yule Scepter onto the Vos, holding him back. They're going to be able to find the follow split up. And now with the Crippling Fear on the Funic, this might not have been the fight that Navi are looking for. They've lost the Spirit Breaker. Then he's going to have to orb himself away. And they essentially just throw, throw away a free kill there on the Spirit Breakers on the side of VP after the back of that that bit of a mishap there, losing a second set of racks and a lot of, well, two buybacks coming out as well. The gold swing and the XP swing, massive for VP. And they might just find a Vosta. He's going to get caught out by the split earth. And why didn't oh, he BKB? That might be the nail in the coffin. A Vost dying back, 90 seconds. And GG is called VP. They, they do it. 26 to 9, I mean, they just destroyed Na'Vi. It was a little bit weird to me seeing the AM pick after having seen the Shadow Shaman, because it's very obvious what VP's game plan was as soon as that pick happened, right? Like, they want to really death ball, base their strategy around using Mass Serpent Wards and Illidan to break high ground with the Edict, and, you know, obviously you got really tanky early Bloodstone into BKB after he even got the Yules. These two uber defensive supports coming out from Navi. If the global remaining. with a stampede are timed correctly, these team fights could go very, very one-sided in favor of EP. Okay, and there we go, the final pickup. It's gonna be the Juggernaut that they opt for on the side of Navi. So it will be the Fennec on the co-op. He's gonna be mounting up that solo lane. The question is, with the Dazzle SDN Juggernaut, are they gonna look to try and go aggressive against VP? It's like he's 9-3 right now, so. He is a, an absolute beast when it comes to that. Can I see a disruption here in the top lane? Yeah, it's all like funny. Maybe thinking of trying to go in, but he's Ooh. actually going to go down there. Is Illidan there being able to burst him? Seneca's going to look for the return kill. Will be able to find out an FG, but this might actually be a double kill for the D. He's going to go in. There's going to be the Shallow Grave from Artstyle buying Seneca some time. He's trying to juke it out of the tree line, but I think Illidan might find this. Seneca's trying to eat round, but he's not going to make the heals. going to buy him some time, but Illidan will find the kill, so he's going to be involved in two kills already. Funnick will blink in in time to be able to pick off the. <laughs> Silence that, but well, a lot of action going on there, and at the same time, mid lane, it's Leshrac finds a kill onto Dendi.
Yeah, uh, that's what happened. Never letting one of their cores get caught out alone. And that's pretty much how you have to play against well, these heroes. Well, uh, no, he's gonna get caught out by the disruption here. Three months of the Sun Navi going into the Global Silence coming out. Maybe people want to try and turn this one. The Glaze flying through onto a voice, bringing him low, and he will pop. Illidan might be able to find Snake as well. Snake pops the charges. It won't be enough. Double kill for the Silencer. Funic will just be able to get the blink out. But this time, VP using the Globals very nicely to find themselves two kills. And, and more intel there, of course, for Illidan here on this Silencer. Illidan does so much damage. Like, just, oh, oh, here comes the snowball. Oh, they want to continue this fight. Sonic Wave, they're coming through for Funny, catching them both out. Arstyle's there, but he's got this Shallow Grave. They'll finally off the back of this. G now moving in, tag teaming him, and we'll find the lightning storm. And the split of one to two. And look at the pulse now for damage. It's bringing Denny low. He'll find himself one kill. He's going to fight Funny. He's going to fight Arstyle, maybe not the heal. Buying Arstyle sometime. The lightning storm finally flies through. G there with a triple kill, turning up to the fight and just destroying Na'Vi. The question is, can they kill him? He'll use the split of third to clear out the tree. Line. Be able to get himself through Polish as well. Her voice moving through. He's got the Omni Slash. He's going to be enough. Yes, it is. Her voice will find the Leshrac right kill off the back of it. And I mean, that is a dominating streak of Mahana Gold going towards the Jug. But still, the fact that G was just able to waltz in and get himself a triple kill, Andy. I mean, that's typical G, right? He's like, all right, don't worry. I'm here. I'm going to save everybody. It's fine. I'll just kill their entire team on my own. You guys did your best, but now it's my turn. But honestly, if they didn't kill him there, it would have been a total disaster for Navi. Like, thankfully, Havos comes in. He gets to clean up. He got like 700 plus gold for that kill. Something yeah. crazy like that. So he'll be a win. Yeah, Mule steps on to Dazzle here. They'll be able to catch him out. And now with the control, the Global Sun is coming out. They'll blow up the Dazzle here. And they'll look to just continue to fight. Funding does put the BKB in the Sonic Wave, throwing it out. And now with the Stampede VP deciding whether they want to stick around for this one. The BKBs have come out from a Vost and Dendi as well. So it looks like VP will wait this one out and maybe look to re engage after they've come off. And they're using, well, here we go. A little hanging around, and they're looking to go straight back in. Indeed, as soon as the BKB is down, Blade Fury will come out with the Warriors Punch, of course, going through that immunity with a slow as well. Demonic Purge being thrown out onto Lil. But G, he's looking for work, and he's going to find it here. The buyback's been forced out by Art Style. They're bringing them low. Havost is going to get a scythe dub now from Illidan, who's literally just picked up that item. And now the stolen Omni Slash from FNG there, bringing down Havost, giving him a taste of his own medicine. And Art Style will fall as well. It's a double kill for G. Danny's trying to do what he can here from the sidelines with the Requiem. But the, and the buyback's being forced out again from Na'Vi, but VP, they're just ready to fight each and every time, and Na'Vi just can't seem to get out, come out on top. That was the run out, and then VP are just ready to re-engage, and FNG played that like a boss. Like, he gets the blink away to stop the Omni Slash damage of Hobos in the first place, and he even drags it out. He's gonna walk in, they know that they're doing Roshan, it's the question of who can come out on top, but they don't have the Global Silence available. BKBs come out from Funny, and they will find the kill onto Suneko first. Denny's trying to do what he can with the punches, bringing Lil low, but the Telekinesis now from FNG holding him in place. G's still alive, taking a fair bit from Hobos. Hobos trying to run into this one. He'll go down, but he has got the Aegis. They've lost Dendi, they haven't got Suneko, and now the full lineup of VP, they're ready Go for round two on Havost. He's got the BKB. will try and do what he can. Vobos, meanwhile, picking off Artstyle onto the Dazzle. Funnick's got a blink away. And Havos just trying to find a kill. The silence onto Funnick. And Gigi's just going to get called 30 minutes in. VP again. Just steamrolling Na'Vi. An insane mid game draft coming out from Virtus Pro. There was just no answer to the sheer team fight that they had. They didn't have really good heroes for being able to rat against the blink initiation and the tusk, so they were kind of forced in a situation where they get caught out multiple times. The global silence and the stampede combination proved to be too much, even for two very defensive supports. Like that Shadow Demon Dazzle, they did not have much impact, and it's not even really their fault. It's just the nature of the draft that Virtus Pro brought to the table. I gotta say, that last pick silencer for me, that made the draft. Like that global silence did so much work in this game. Fade Bolt and I guess Gyrocopter is okay, but I think what Virtus Pro might have to do is just have the Ancient Apparition and the Rubik stay top, which leads me more to believe that VP are gonna need a very self-sustainable mid. They could go back for the Wind Ranger. I think TA is still okay. Yeah. But no, even they're going to go for Lina. Okay, that's actually a very good 1v1 matchup for the Shadow Fiend as well. So this means that BP know that their supports are pretty much going to be sitting top. Like, put it down early. You're going to have a lot of trouble. And here oh they go. No. They're going to go again now with the Dust Phoenix in a lot of trouble. This looks like it could be your first burden. It will be indeed. Virtus Pro doing exactly what they need to against this Spider. You got to respect that damage. I think he ended up getting the ward though, right? Yeah, so he got the Sentry Ward, but uh, he ended up trading his life for it. But uh, I don't know. Oh, he tangoed it. Yeah. So. I mean, that trade... Funny, maybe feeling a bit more confident, but the dust gonna, is going to be popped, and uh, Colfi isn't going to quite stick in here. Illidan will try and chase yes. this one down. They've still got the vision of him, and, and here we go. Illidan with the chilling touch. He is indeed. Funny's going to get taken down by VP, and 
Man, this is not the lane for this Primo and G. Oh, he's coming down to the bottom. He's got himself a haste for in her post. And Artstyle could be in trouble. Laguna played out straight up with the Dragon Slave onto the Centaur. They're going to look for Artstyle as well. Here with the Telekinesis holding him back. He will be able to get the Shallow Grave off. But he'll almost certainly still die here as there's three of them chasing him down. The Rack to fly through. Is the heal going to be enough? Just enough. No, the Dragon Slave again. G double kill on Lena with that rotation. You ban out five of these guys, this guy's heroes. And he's in the um, G's going forward here. He's going to be able to do something. He's got the Laguna Blade. If he can find the Light Striker Ray, which he's going to try to. It's just off the mark. Dendi will be able to juke that one off. And the backup's coming. Her voice has got down. Petey's got the blink. Can they turn this one around? He's going to blink for, but Lil straight away with the Telekinesis, pulling her voice away. I mean, it's going to be very hard for them to get a fight. And now, with the last strike around the first, Coffee probably will tick in as well. Now. Yeah, it will. It's going to hold her post back. The Fisher will come out. It won't quite block them off. FNG and G will be able to retreat. Her first going forward really wants to find something now. But again, VP, they're there with the control. And meanwhile, Phobos, he's just found himself a kill onto Samiko on this Shaker. Navi, they're just chasing them around like madmen. The VP are coming back in. They brought in Illidan. The core round will be onto Dendi. Illidan moving forward with the rocket barrage. Dendi will get a crew of the off. But it still looked like a great fight for Navi. They're having to run the Laguna Blade flies through. The Ice Blast will be a little bit short. Denny going for the TP. But the Cogs, they're going to be able to hold him back. And they're going to find the kill onto the Shadow Fiend. G's chasing down Arstyle with these punches, forcing him back. And 12 to 2. Again, Navi just can't find the fight. I got to say, this play coming out from Lil is unbelievable. He stole Stampede in that fight. And it's still just Navi sitting around here in the Dire Jungle. And here we go, G moving in. Are they going to win on an illusion? But I think they're going to realize it straight away. They're looking for more now. They're going to go here with the stolen stampede. Seneco's in a bit of trouble. Caught out here in the tree line. Light Striker will finish him off. Ice Blast. Oh. And now the hook shot. Havorst, he's in a lot of trouble. He'll blow oh up God. next up. Art style. Two more heroes dropping on the side. And now VMVP again he's taking the fight. Little steals Fissure. Hits two. Stampedes his team in. Secures two more kills because of the stolen fish. The question is, who's going to make the first jump here? Elidan just clearing out the Siege Creeper now. Here we go, straight in with a hook shot onto Dendi. They're trying to control it, but Havort actually catches out the B here. Will bring down the Lina. This is for further side of Na'Vi. Dendi pulls the BKP, getting the budget through onto Lil, but Lil now with the stolen Star P. Stampy, they're trying to turn it around. Snake against the Echo Sab onto two. Can they bring down Elidan? They'll get Elidan as well. Three heroes dropping on VP. Now they might even find FNG here as well, and they will raise from Dendi. Finishes Odo off, and Na'Vi actually taking four heroes down, only losing her bow. What a fight for Na'Vi considering the circumstances that they've been put in by themselves. And in the meantime, Phonic deals half the damage to the tier 3 tower in a top lane. And look at that swing. What were we saying? 5,000 golden experience lead? Not anymore. Na'Vi back in this game after that one team fight. They got the Blink Dagger up on Dendi now too. So the next time they go for the Stampede Blink, we're looking at potentially a Requiem combo with the Stampede and the Centaur Stomp to be able to just kill somebody instantly. That's going to be how they're going to actually push somebody down. Hook shot in. Uh, Phobos, did he really want to do this? I mean, they're jumping in the side of RV and the clockwork is going to get blown up. That's going to be Dendi on a killing spree. Illid is moving forward, but a voice now with a stampede. They want to try and continue this. Dendi incredibly low. 30 HP gets the record off. No, he doesn't. He ends up getting taken down with a flat cannon hits there from Illid. And Funny trying to man fight up. It doesn't matter. Echo oh. now. Massive double kill for Zaneko. FNG going down as well. It's a team wipe. And oh, my goodness, that Echo snap was good, Andy. You couldn't have asked for a better performance out of Seneco on that Echo. I mean, he hit pretty much everyone in the area. I think the only person who didn't get hit was FNG, but he still took the Echo damage itself. So, unbelievable play. It actually looked like Virtus Pro were going to pull that out. And dude, they're even going to force double buyback here. Oh, can they get Seneco here? They're going to throw the Yule. They're going to try and lock him down here with the stun. And they'll find him with the full stuff out. And the Glimmer Cape. I mean, the Seneco is going to be okay, okay in this situation. And as you said, the buybacks had come out from VP. And Na'Vi, they still want to fight. They know that they're in a strong position and they want to make the most of it. Oh, Illidan gets forced forward there by Na'Vi. Now her voice getting in with the boost on the double edge. Illidan getting low with a live striker and catching Funnick. is slowing down the aggression for Na'Vi. But now the Skadi hits flying through. Funnick blinking forward. They'll take down Illidan. That's a dive back on your gyrocopter. He's in trouble as well. He'll blow up. Double kill for Dendi. Three heroes down at the moment. Neither G or Illidan with buyback available. They're going to lose FNG. It's only a little left standing. And Na'Vi slow. Slowly dismantling VP, they'll be able to take down a second tier three. Lil there with the stolen duel edge does bring down the dazzle. But funny, he's just gonna go forward there. She's a little going down, and Phobos he might be in trouble as well. No, he's gonna be okay. He's not gonna to find a kill. And this this is gonna be the mid racks going down, and and not a lot the VP can do to stop it. What a comeback from Navi, honestly. Like, they're gonna GG right now. Navi did it.
Navi, they're going to take it to a game four here in this best of five series. And I got to say, the beginning of that game looked a little bit grim. And coming back from a 13 kill deficit and making just an absolute show of it. Very, very well done from Navi. During that mid-game fight where they started diving to Tier 1, that was the first sign of weakness for Virtus Pro. They overextend a little bit too much. The Blink Dagger from Seneco comes in huge. They get a big turnaround. They get the BKB up on Dendi at around the same time. And the Blink Dagger and Havos and that combo play just proved to be too much. I want to try and look to go deeper and try and find the fight that we have Fisher holding back the wolf. But now G getting caught out here on the Shadow Fin and he's just going to evaporate there to the damage from Na'Vi. So all assumption onto a vote, but a vote is going to continue to chase. Arstar getting low here, the Dream Cold controlling him, but against Seneco, keeping him alive here with the embrace. Arstar so low, Echo Star will come out, but it's a double kill for her vote. He's just cleaning up here. He'll find Illidan as well, making it a triple kill. Vodic blinks forward. They want to find FNG as well here, but looks of it, and they will do indeed with a power strike. Ultra kill for a vote. Oh no, he's not going to be a rampage. He's trying to chase down the Visage, and he might just find it here with the walls bringing him alone. No, it's gonna hold him back there. The two familiars now to reach some of the walls, they're gonna chase it. I think Lil gets away from this one, but still an ultra kill for her boast in the mid lane. Again, Navi crazy step out of the bag before, and, and let's see if they can do it this game. Top lane. Maybe they can want to want to fight, but Navi, they're going to be ready FNG there in full force. This is a half five of them to go for. Fisher coming out. There's going to be the blink forward from Vobos. So all of a sudden, you bring Danny low, but it's not quite enough. Now, Vobos just turning up. He's found one. He's found two. There's going to be two dropping on the side of VP. The Requiem coming out, but still no one to fall on the side of Navi. G will get the punches for Tars. Tell the Soul Sub to bring him low. They do finally kill onto the Shadow Demon, but Vobos, he's just running around and he's going to look for more now. Funnic blinking forward with a burst strike onto G. Vobos now with a triple kill. Lil trying to chase down Dendi, but Vobos and Seneco moving in with the Burn. They will find. The, no, they're not. Dennis gonna be able to get themselves away. Oh, Lil's looking for the no CP, way. but Funny is he gonna get out? Oh. No! The Burrow strike there from Funny, catching him just in the nick of time. Everyone dying on the side of VP. And again, they. It's because it just gives you more benefit of your uh, precision aura. Oh. But here we go. This is a big jump in from Phobos. They're catching out Dendi and Seneca. They'll be able to bring down the less track. Seneca will have the defensive disruption coming out from Artstar. And Seneca's just going to turn this one with the curse onto G. Her voice moving forward. Look at this damn. Echo Slam will come out from FNG holding Seneca in place. But now he's going to embrace himself. Phobos will still be able to get the magical damage through. They'll bring that oh. one. Oh, oh. Sonic there with the epicenter. The burrow strike onto three. Triple kill for a voice. So they take down Illidan. And again in these fights, just a combination plays from Funnick and her boast. BP wrapping around into their own jungle. It's going to get dispelled here by Funnick though. Oh, that's such an early BKB actually. They need to just run right now. Uh, this question is, do Navi try and turn back into this one? BP looking to chase it. It's not going to follow through. Oh, Bobos. And now, well, funny. He's going to get the Burrow Strike onto G. Dendi, they're going to be able to clean up Illidan with a curse. And they're going to find Lil here as well. Illidan buying back. But here we go. The Burrow Strike onto G bringing him solo now. Vost with the BKB chasing them all down. Dendi with a double kill. And that's going to be a Vost just diving the tower. Looking for more. The Burrow Strike catching out FNG. The Silence will come out from Phobos, but it doesn't look like it's enough to stop them. No, for Ho a Vost will take down the uh, Jaker as well. And we were talking about how key the Phobos Dream Call would be in, and it just didn't come in that situation. Nav just getting the upper hand, forcing out a buyback from Illidan, taking the tier two. And now with three heroes down, the fact that G, he does not have buyback on this Shadow Fiend. And regarding the pushing power of Na'Vi, these, these racks are going to melt if they get onto them. I saw Kuras on the Lycan is going yeah. to ensure that this base dies very, very quickly. I would imagine that during that that engagement for the BP, G imagined that Phobos was going to go in right away. Like, you just drop a coil on a hero to get a kill, and that's why he BKB'd, assuming that the team was just going to follow up straight away. And as soon as I realized that they weren't coming to the fight, and that BKB is popped, you have to run. You cannot fight without magic immunity outside of your base. And for that mistake, BP, they get double racks by Na'Vi. They're going to try and chase this FNG, maybe see if he can find a Fisher. And uh, he's not going to be the Fisher, and maybe Na'Vi wanting to turn this Burrow Strike on into Illidan and Lil. Do Na'Vi want to continue this fight? Phobos being forward here with the Waning Rift. Then he pops the BKB, moves forward, just straight into the center of it all. Trying to see an Echo Slam coming out from FNG, just catch, but FNG is still going to go down. He just doesn't have the damage follow up on this Earthshaker. Lil having to back off, and it's one for one trade so far. G's popped the BKB, trying to take down these Necro units that are looking for Illidan. Won't find it, but now Phobos taking the return damage. And and that's going to be it until G finds her Vost. Does her Vost get himself away? They've got the Dream Call of Vost. He could be in a bit of a spot of a bother here, but Artstyle coming back in. It's an Echo Phonic finding the Burrow Strike onto Phobos. There'll be the Ghost coming out from Illidan. Phobos incredibly low, and Illidan trying to touch the Phonic. But he's going to be kept alive here as he yules himself up into the air. Post the Sandstorm. It won't be enough. They do pick off the Sand King. Now the Wolves and the Vost. They're looking for Illidan. They're looking for Lil. Artstyle and Snake are chasing this one down now. The Blast. Oh, flying over to Illidan. They'll pick off the Drow Ranger. And now with the disruption onto Lil. That's going to be another kill for Na'Vi.
as they take down the Drow and the Visage. Top lane is going to be the focus, and this could be in their verging on Mega Creeps. There's no buyback for G, there's no buyback for Illidan. Fischl will come out, they're sending the Familiars out as well, but look at that graph, how far it's just steeped off in favor of Na'Vi, thanks to all those kills that they've got. And G, G is called, we're going to game five, Andy. I don't think anyone coming into this series expected anything less than a game five, but maybe not in this fashion. No. It was 2-0 into another 2-0, and now it's just match point. No matter who takes the next game, we will see a champion out of the next game. So I got to say, again, for this draft, it didn't really feel like... I've seen VP run Drow in the past, and it's been very successful. And I think a lot of it is based off the fact that in the middle lane, G actually gets a hero that he can bully with. I think a lot of it was not getting your hands on something like a Viper, for example, to be put up against that Lashrak. A little bit less punishable types of fights, and I mean, they're making it a game. Top lane of Austin. Seneca moving in. If they can get the stun onto G before he gets that BKB out, they could go for a kill here. G coming out. They will find the fish now. Going in with the rocket barrage. The Enchanter and they control G. They bring him down. And again, that's a massive kill for Na'Vi. Na'Vi are able to find these kills. It's going to hurt VP so much. FNG moving out. There's going to be the wraparound from Na'Vi. Moving towards the mid lane. Now I'll start throwing down this Mono Pillage. pop down the sentry as well. They've got the vision, but it looks like FNG will be able to get himself out. Another disruption holding him in place as well. They're going to need a plus one if they want to take it down. Here's Seneca over the fish onto FNG. Illin and pop this stampede. And now Funny trying to move into the burst trap, will pick himself back out, realizing that's not the initiation they need. Winter's cut onto Voss. Arstel starts hit away at him, and Voss getting low, but they're going to have to use their arms to the center, holding him back away from Voss. Voss is going to live, trying to get himself out of this one. And looks like Navi won't lose anything, and Fisher being thrown out. Oh, Illidan going forward, he wants to make a funny now with the MPZ onto Lil, and that's Dendi going forward to join him as well. Waiting Rift onto Lil, he's got the Glimmer Cape, it's not going to be enough. Dendi takes down the Winter Wyvern, Illidan will try to be out, but no, the disruption's there to cancel it. Funny with the burst trap onto FNG. Rocky Barrage from Avoz brings him down and now Illidan trying to get himself out. Your set trying to see onto the Phoenix controlling him. Double kill for Dendi. They should be able to fight forward with Zedra. Echo Slam. Now they'll get the Supernova out, but they'll just focus it. Right click it. Boris Drag onto G. Stopping the Requiem. He'll now put the BKB. Look for the Requiem, but he's lost his entire team. He's the last one alive. And now the question is can Navi go black, uh, back in? They've got a blink. They're going to have the Boris Drag G. Oh, he's going to find the kill on some footing there. Funny going in a little bit too early as the Magic Immunity was still there, but still. What a fight again against VP. The massive difference in gold and XP swinging in favor of Na'Vi. And this is a very, very tense part of the game, I think. Now, Funnick is a beast. Here comes the Burrow. He's going to find the Burrow Strike. He gets himself four staffed out, dodging the Hoostom from Illidan. The Stampede will be popped. And now the Fiendry Bottle of Force. But the disruption from Artstyle is going to break it. A Force is going to be able to fight back up in there. Which is now Seneco with the Echo Snapples, FNG, and Lil. And now going in and full force. The corner is going to come down on the wall. They have popped the Supernova here. Dream Calls onto them. And it's actually Na'Vi losing the fight here. They've lost the Aegis onto a Force. They've lost Seneco as well. Funnick's going to drop as well. And it's time for VP to take a positive fight. They're going to almost certainly bring down a Force here as well. Four here dropping on the side and Na'Vi and VP proving they've still got the team fight to bring to this game. I think the big difference in that fight than everything else that we've seen so far is Na'Vi committed so many heroes at the same time. Like Funnick didn't even end up getting his epicenter off because he felt like he had to go back in, even pop the cheese, and then he just gets chased down by Phobos. So instead of it being that fight around the river where you have two heroes on high ground with Blink, they actually have both of their counter initiation heroes just committed to the fight immediately. And you're not going to be able to kite out your BKBs because by the time you get out of the fight, you're already dead. So VP actually take a very favorable engagement in the most adverse of circumstances because they they had Aegis up on Havos. I'm not trying to break the base here. Big Iron pickups coming out for Dendi. He's now got the completed scythe. BKP's finished though for Illidan. They do still have this epicenter. Well, Funny going to go in for the Burrow Strike just onto two. Walks himself back out. Dendi, how long until he's got that Dream Call available yet again? It's going to be 16 seconds or so. And well, VP, they want to take the racks here going forward. What can Na'Vi do to stop it? There'll be the Fisher coming out onto two. Any kind of follow-up coming out? Doesn't look like it for the time being. And VP might be able to clear these ones out. They're going to find the range tracks in the mid lane. They're looking for the melee as well. It looks like they don't want to stick around. Now, Havorst is going to be back up in five seconds or so. So realizing, you know, before when they've tried to break the high ground, it's not gone too great. With the full five-man, Na'Vi should be able to defend. Uh, I think it's a right call to back here. I mean, Havos isn't going to buy back for a range tracks. He might not even have bought back for the melee, even if it was in danger. Just because it means if you buy back to defend that, and then you die one more time... V have to be a big one, but funny, he just wants to continue to push on this bottom lane. He wants to find something in return. Yours is going to be thrown down onto Shadow Fiend, but G standing his ground. And there's still no Funnic, no reaction from Funnic. He's not coming for this one. It looks like they're just going to have to end up sacking a second set of racks here. And Funnic's actually been forced back from the bottom lane by Bane. 
And yeah, this is going to be a second set of rats. We go down, or maybe not. A Vorst here with a cooldown wants to try and fight into this one. Dendi moving forward, moving back now with a stampede. Going on to a Vorst. A Vorst will pop the BKB. They won't catch him out here with the Hoost on. G continues to fight. A Vorst is trying to do what he can, but now Illidan going in and going ham. Catching out a Vorst. This is going to be the defensive just rushing by him most sometime. He will be able to get himself out. Dendi with a winning grip now with a supernova coming out from Phobos. Dendi needs to get himself out of here, and he will, do, will be able to find the blink. The supernova goes off, and now Funicus and Echo, they're going in. They've got the Echo Snap on to two, and now they've brought down the Shadow Feet, but he's got the Aegis. He's going to be there for round two. Illidan trying to find us to the Hoost. Now G coming in. He's trying to do what he can with the Waiting Rift onto G. Now the punch is bringing Denny low. They'll find the kill onto Denny. He does have buyback. Funny with the bonus strike onto Lil and G, but now G punching away at Foz. Bringing him down and forced him down for 95 seconds. Denny holding Shadow Feet back in with the yours. They will bring down Lil. They need to find this kill onto G. They're doing what they can. Bonus strike onto the Shadow Feet. Denny with the size now. Can they kill the SM? The heal, the heal from Phobos. Will it be enough? No. G, he might drop down the punches. He does go down. Seneco will live. And Navi do defend the base. But only what's left of it. They've lost two sets of Rex. But I've got to be honest. I think Navi, the fact that they didn't lose the game there is pretty much... That's a win. Great. It's a I win. Mean, <laughs> not losing the game right there is definitely a win for Navi. They put themselves in a very tough situation to fight out of. Again, we talked about them not having buyback. We talked about them prioritizing Roche very heavily. They still had to spend another buyback. I believe it was on Dendi during that engagement. He would think he was the only one who even had it at that point. But with that buyback, they managed to keep their base alive. Not being Megan means they're still in the game. Gyrocopter is very good at defending against creeps, and he does have Satanic on top of that. So he'll be able to keep the lungs pushed out. It's not over just yet. Navi are trying to force some buybacks here. They will. They might even be able to counter racks, actually. Okay. They can maybe force a buyback from VP, or they just take the racks for free. I think if you're VP in this situation, yeah, you probably don't buyback. Funny. He wants to try and get himself in, but he's not going to be able to do so. Oh, that's big. Yeah, epicenter. But they see it. I don't know if they saw that. That's the thing, because if that epicenter goes off, and there's creeps there, maybe VP decide, okay, let's just try to fight it and end the game straight up. But if they didn't see the VP fail, maybe they assume it's still there. But I guess Navi is just going to play it safe anyway and back. Indeed. And Vos is going to be back up now. But still, the fact that VP didn't have to expend the buyback there is still obviously going to put him in a very favorable position. He's got a lot of money. He has got a lot of dollar. We, should, we might even be seeing the rapier status coming out soon for a Vos if he feels necessary. And if he can get there, if there was ever a game to buy a rapier in, it, I feel like it would be this one. He could actually go at uh, Butterfly, because there's no MKB up on the side of Virtus Pro at all. And the Butterfly gives you a ton of survivability. I think he actually just wants to be that frontline hero. And he still does a good amount of damage. It's not like he's not hitting hard enough. It's just that maybe in some of these situations, he's just unable to live due to the physical DPS of G. And this Roshan is going to get scouted out now by the Orb. I mean, do you feel Navi have to contest this, or maybe I think it's to actually safer this? to not contest. Yeah. Because here's the scenario, right? You fight over Roshan, and say, for instance, VP win the fight. Like, they're going to secure this 100% now because they've backed. Roshan but if they get Roshan the and they win the fight, then you are in a horrible position because you need buybacks to be able to defend. They're going to go all on the rapier, but he doesn't Oh, damage. Illidan, he wants to go in out here. The Stampede, the Hoof Storm. BKBs are being put up with the defensive dish rushing by sometimes to make a supernova coming out for the side of VP. A Vos positive BKB trying to go up against Illidan. No one dying as of yet. The side of Navi getting low now with the supernova stone catching out a Vos. A Vos getting low, gets himself forced up back, but Illidan here with the storm will fight two. Double kill for your central warrior. Now, a Vos will buy back. Arstar will not be able to return to his break. Denny coming forward with a winning rift onto Lil and FNG. Now, a Vos trying to do what he can with a flat cannon, but G, he's just got a superior amount of damage and he'll just force a Vos to back right up. The homing missile will fly forward onto Willis and will connect now with the Fisher onto FNG and G. A Vos still trying to do what he can, but G now has been glimmer caved up and now turn attention to two, the tier three, and now onto the racks as well. Denny, what can he do? Well, he's going to back himself up as the Arctic Burn flies through for the Winter Wyvern. G is looking to make a creep to FNG, trying to find a nightmare, but he won't find it now. Illidan finds the job to Seneco. Seneco's going to get pulled down. He does have buyback. They still have Epicent. They still have Echo Snap, but now they've lost Dendi. Dendi will buy back for this one. Rose Strike onto two. There's your Echo Snap for Seneco. They'll find the Fisher as well. They Break down the ages on the Shadow Fiend. Lil will drop as well. Can they kill this SF a second time round? G, he's got the BKB in for round two. Illidan the will damage. get that made up. But look at the right clicks here from G. It's too much. Her force is now die back. They don't even kill Illidan. It's a double kill for G. Make that more triple Good kill. Game. GG has been called and VP are your Dream League Season 3 champions. I honestly can't think of a better way for this series to end. You yep. can tell how happy VP are right now. Very well deserved Grand Finals. They take two games against Na'Vi. Look like Na'Vi were starting to fight back. They had really good drafts in game number three and four. They bring it to a fifth game. They fought tooth and nail for this victory.